Eunice, peace be upon him, was sent as a prophet in the 8th century BC. His lineage goes back to his great-grandfather, Benjamin. God says in the Quran, they said, Are you indeed Yusuf? He said, I am Yusuf, and this is my brother. Allah has indeed been gracious to us. He who has taqwa and is patient, then surely Allah makes not the reward of the good doers to be lost. Our master Eunice, peace be upon him, was from the people of Nineveh, Yunus son of Metta, the Nun, the prophet of God and his messenger. May God's prayers and peace be upon him. And his lineage goes back to Yaqub son of Ishaq, son of Ibrahim. May blessings and peace be upon them. They are descendants of Sam, son of Assyria. They defeated many armies and established the great empire and civilization. In the 8th century BC, the Assyrians ruled by King Sargon II and his son, the young prince Sennacherib. Sennacherib took the city of Nineveh in northern Iraq as the new capital of the kingdom of the Assyrians and built a large temple to worship the goddess Ishtar. As the Assyrians were unfortunately idolaters, Sennacherib opened the great library of Nineveh and put in it all the scrolls he collected from the cultures of the people he conquered with his father. Among the most prominent of them were the works of the Babylonian civilization. The greatest enemies of the Assyrians at that time. What King Sion cared most about was his majestic and well-built palace, which he built on a prominent hill at the edge of the city and paved it with the famous Lion's Road. His son, Prince Sennacherib, was as voracious and was as he loved hunting lions. My lord Prince Sennacherib! What brought you here, minister? It is important, my lord! Don't you know I'm on a fishing trip? I know, I know that! But my lord King Sargon became very ill in your absence, and he insisted on meeting you. He is afraid of leaving the world without saying goodbye to you. My father! Prince Sennacherib interrupted his lion's hunting trip and returned quickly to Nineveh to check on his father, King Sargon II. As Minister Azia said, the prince was afraid the father king would die without saying goodbye to him himself. Father! Sennacherib, thank God that I saw you before death. You will not die, father. You will not die. Death is an inevitable end. Calm down, my son, and listen carefully to my will. Your will? Yes. You know how much I love Nineveh, the city we built together. I love it too. So show me your love for it. How? To stay in it and to complete what we have begun of rebuilding it, and not to leave it and go to other cities. You want me to leave the city of Babylon after we conquered it and liberated it from the hands of Babylonians? I have appointed your brother Sagor on the city of Babylon. Sagor is young, father, and he has no experience of ruling and fighting, and he will need my support. No, Sinakrib, don't leave Ninawa for the sake of Babylon. Father, if we leave Sagor alone there, Ator, king of Babylonians, will be greedy and return to the city we took from him. Your brother Sagor is able to protect Babylon at Nineveh, the capital of our internal kingdom. I will return to Nineveh, father, after I protect Babylon from Ator, and I will never neglect it. No, no, Sennacherib, don't leave Nineveh for Babylon. Don't leave Nineveh. Father, father. And the people of Nineveh worshipped the god Ishtar. And our master Eunice, peace be upon him, used to worship alone on the top of the mountain and was divine. Worshipping God, the creator, and waiting for a new message from heaven. He was praying to God to send a message that would shine on the earth. And he used to pray to God Almighty and say in his prayers, My God, master and creator, corruption has spread and injustice has prevailed between the people and the country. People have deviated from the truth and we need heaven's intervention. O oh God and our poor of your great light that illuminates the hearts of the disbelievers as you eliminated the universe with your light and ruled life with your justice and wisdom. O God, grant victory to the oppressed, guidance to the perplexed, and some of your strengths to the obedient and oppressed. Meanwhile, the prophet of God, Eunice, peace be upon him, was receiving the revelation of heaven from our master Gabriel, peace be upon him. He was keen on memorizing the teachings of the new religion that he has sent with in order to return people to the path of truth and guidance. And here is Metta. 
the father of our master Eunice. Being worried as his son did not come back yet, he climbed the mountain to check on him. Meanwhile, the prophet of God, Eunice, peace be upon him, was receiving the revelation of heaven from our master Gabriel, peace be upon him. He was keen on memorizing the teachings of the new religion that he has sent with, in order to return people to the path of truth and guidance. <laughs> And here is Metta, the father of our master Eunice. Being worried as his son did not come back yet, he climbed the mountain to check on him. Eunice, you have spent days worshipping in your sanctuary and rarely come home. What happened to you, son? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, By God, Father, nothing but good has befallen me. My Lord chose me from among mankind and sent me as a prophet carrying the light of faith. Glory be to God. By God, I felt that a prophet from the descendants of my grandfather, Yaqub, would be chosen by God as a prophet in this time. I didn't know he would be you, son. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Pray to God, Father, to help me bear this heavy task, for nowadays it is too hard to call people to guidance after misguidance and to glory after humiliation. Rest assured, my son, as long as God sent you with the truth as a prophet, he knows that you will inevitably be able to carry out the consequences of the message. Glory be to him, knows where and how to spread his message. So God Almighty answered the prayers of his prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, and the sky shook, and that was the great signal of the beginning of the prophethood of the prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, and it was a sign to start calling his people to worship the one and only God, the religion of justice, goodness, and guidance, and Eunice, peace be upon him, became a prophet. Meanwhile, our master Eunice, peace be upon him, was in his mahrab worshiping God, and still receiving from him the teachings of the new religion that he was sent with. Eunice, my son, you have been in your sanctuary for more than six days. I have brought you food that would suffice you for more days. وَإِسْمَاعِيلَ وَالْيَسَعَ وَيُونُسَ وَلُوطًا وَكُلًّا فَضَّلْنَا عَلَى الْعَالَمِينَ وَمِنْ آبَائِهِمْ وَذُرِّيَّاتِهِمْ وَإِخْوَانِهِمْ وَاجْتَبَيْنَاهُمْ وَهَدَيْنَاهُمْ إِلَى صِرَاطٍ مُسْتَقِيمٍ ذَلِكَ هُدَى اللَّهِ يَهْدِي بِهِ مَنْ يَشَاءُ من <تصفيق> أولئك الذين هدى الله فبهداه مقتده قل لا أسألكم عليه أجرا إن هو إلا ذكرا للعالمين and the Prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, began calling his people, one by one, to worship his Lord, the Almighty. And he used to teach his people that God Almighty is the creator of the universe, and that he is the true creator, healer, and sustainer, and that they should not associate anything with him. The cow that was sick got up. Eunice, peace be upon him, said to its old owner, Nahar, congratulations on the recovery of your cow, mother. How did it recover so quickly? What did you do to heal it? 
Eunice, peace be upon him, said, I did nothing. I just prayed to God for his recovery. I have been praying to the goddess Ishtar for many days and the cow was still sick. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, As for me, I do not worship Ishtar. You don't worship Ishtar? Which god do you worship then? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, I worship the Lord of people, the God of people, the one and only God who has no partner. I don't understand what you are saying. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Perhaps you will understand later. As for now, I came tired from the outskirts of the city where I live with my father. So will you direct me to a nearby place where I can live? If you are going to be with us for a long time, I have a room upstairs in my house that I can rent to you. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Well, I accept whatever the value of the rent is, and I hope that you will help me find a job that I can earn money from. Of course, I will help you. You heal my cow. I will introduce you to a neighbor of mine who has many sheep, and he was looking for a young man to take care of them for him. What is this? Did I enter a house other than the house of old Nihar? Rubel, hello my son. Hello aunt, for the first time I see your house so clean and tidy. This is the grace of God my son. Here you go, I brought you enough food for a few days. You are tired my son. It was necessary for me to bring you this food. Because I know that your cow is sick, so you do not take milk from it, nor able to slaughter it to benefit from its meat. Praise be to Allah. He healed the cow, so I milked it, and today I drank from its milk. Who healed the cow? The one who cleaned and tidied the house. Do you have anyone else who takes care of you and comes to visit you? He is a young man called Yunus, son of Mata, who lives on the outskirts of the city, and he used to visit me from time to time. As soon as he grabbed the cow and prayed for its recovery, I saw it gets up and get healed in a few seconds. How is that? And what did he pray for? I did not hear his prayers well. He uttered words that I did not understand. I thought he was calling the goddess Ishsar, but he told me that he had never worshipped her. He doesn't know Ishtar? So who is he worshipping? He said that he worships one god who has no partner and he will tell me about him later. One god who has no partner? Where is this young man? I want to talk to him. He is at the mountain, tending my neighbor's sheep, Balan. He had asked me to find him a job. Didn't he tell you why he came to Nineveh? No, he did not say yet. His words are few and it seems that he holds many, many secrets. Yunus, son of Matta, I have to search for him until I find him. Don't bother, he'll come back here for sure. He's rented the upper room from me. Well, mom, I will come back to him later then. Rubel got acquainted with the prophet Eunice, son of Metta, peace be upon him, and had lunch with him and saw more of his politeness and good manners than what he heard from Aunt Nihar. Then he continued his conversation with him until the beginning of the night. Aunt Nihar told me about you a lot. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, She told me a lot about you too. She said that you are the one who says farewell to her and cares for her the most after the death of her husband. I see my late mother in her, and I see that she has been wronged a lot, and I am trying to help her recover her rights. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, May God reward you. As you help people, God will help you. You mean the goddess Ishtar? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, I do not know a god by this name, and I do not worship other than my lord. There is no god but he, the one god, and I do not associate anyone with him. وَمَا 
أمروا إلا ليعبدوا الله مخلصين له الدين حنفاء ويقيموا الصلاة ويؤتوا الزكاة وذلك دين القيمة This was said by Princess Golda at her wedding when she refused to bow to the idol of Ishtar. Are you a Jew like her? Yunus, peace be upon him, said, I am not a Jew, though I am the grandson of Benjamin, brother of Yusuf, peace be upon him. Yusuf's brother Benjamin, I have read about him a lot. Are you really his grandson? Yunus, peace be upon him, said, Yes, I am from the descendants of Benjamin and I am honored. How to be the grandson of Benjamin and not a Jew like him? Yunus peace be upon him said, The Jews lost the trust. Most of them deviated from their religion and distorted the Torah from their worldly interests. They corrupted the earth, oppressed, killed and betrayed. So it was necessary for a new prophet that God would send to people with a new religion that would guide them and return them to his straight path. A new prophet with a new religion? Which prophet is this? Yunus peace be upon him said, I am that prophet. You are? Yunus, peace be upon him, said, Yes, I am. God chose me for this great mission. He chose me to carry the heavenly message to the people of Nineveh. Who is the one God that you worship? Yunus, peace be upon him, said, God is the one who created the universe with everything in it, then created man and subjected the universe to him with everything in it, and commanded him to populate the earth and not demolish it, and to reform it and not spoil it. وَلَقَدْ أَهْلَكْنَا الْقُرُونَ مِنْ قَبْلِكُمْ لَمَّا ظَلَمُوا وَجَاءَتْهُمْ رُسُلُهُمْ بِالْبَيِّنَاتِ وَمَا كَانُوا لِيُؤْمِنُوا كَذَلِكَ نَجْزِي الْقَوْمَ الْمُجْرِمِينَ ثُمَّ جَعَلْنَاكُمْ خَلَائِفَ فِي الْأَرْضِ مِنْ بَعْدِهِمْ لِنَنْظُرَ كَيْفَ تَعْمَلُونَ What is heaven's message to the people of Nineveh? Yunus, peace be upon him, said that they worship God, one God, not associating anything with him, and that they abandon the worship of idols that do not benefit or harm, and that they do justice and do not wrong, and that they are truthful and do not lie, and that the strong have mercy on the weak, and that the rich give alms to the poor, and that they forgive the poor so that God forgives them. But how do the people of Nineveh refrain from worshipping idols? How do they forsake the religion of their parents and grandparents? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Worshipping idols was not the religion of their fathers and grandfathers. Our first father, Adam, peace be upon him, came with a message of monotheism that I was sent with now. Then his descendants deviated from it until idolatry appeared. And if people had remained on the religion of their fathers and grandfathers, they would not have left monotheism and resorted to paganism, and they would not have wronged, nor lied, nor corrupted. How do I believe in a God that I do not see? Yunus, son of Matta, pray to your lord for us to retake our rights from the king and his mother. Yunus, peace be upon him, said, O people, I have come with a new religion that does not see prayers as an authentic solution to all problems. We only rely on God, so we do what we must do and then pray to him for success. And how are we going to regain our stolen rights? Yunus, peace be upon him, said, You resort to the judiciary. All judges fear the king and do what he commands them to do. Yunus, peace be upon him, said, A right is not lost when there are people who demand it. Oh, people, let each of you return to his house. Otherwise, the king will order all of you to be imprisoned. Imprisoned because we demand our rights? How long will this injustice continue? Does that satisfy the goddess Ishtar? As for you, Yunus, His Majesty the King warns you sternly. Do not incite people to disobey him. Yunus, peace be upon him, said, I do not incite anyone to disobey the king. They came to me seeking help and asking for my help in restoring their rights. They don't have any rights. Yunus, peace be upon him, said, The king knows very well what him and his father, the late king, owe to the people. 
Tell him to fear God and the subjects, for they are now facing the danger of starvation, and if the king continued oppressing them, they would not find anything to cry over. And tell him that the danger of starvation and hunger would not differentiate between rich and poor, ruler and ruled, and that the idol Ishtar will not benefit people in these dangers. It is useless to talk. King Sennacherib has ordered you to be expelled from the city. You have until tomorrow morning. If you remain after that, you will be sentenced to imprisonment or death. وَمَا كَانَ رَبُّكَ مُهْلِكَ الْقُرَى حَتَّى يَبْعَثَ فِي أُمِّهَا رَسُولًا يَتْلُو عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتِنَا وَمَا كُنَّا مُهْلِكِ الْقُرَى إِلَّا وَأَهْلُهَا ظَالِمُونَ وَمَا أُوْتِيْتُمْ مِنْ شَيْءٍ فَمَتَاعُ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا وَزِينَتُهَا وَمَا عِنْدَ اللَّهِ خَيْرٌ وَأَبَقَى أَفَلَا تَعْقِلُونَ أَفَمَنْ وَعَدْنَاهُ وَعْدًا حَسَنًا فَهُوَ لَاقِيهِ كَمَنْ مَتَّعْنَاهُ مَتَاعَ الْحَيَاةِ الدُّنْيَا ثُمَّ هُوَ يَوْمَ الْقِيَامَةِ مِنَ الْمُحْضَرِينَ Yunus, son of Matta, I thought you left Nineveh. Yunus, peace be upon him, said, I'm leaving it now by your orders. I still remember your favor with me when you prayed for my wife, the princess, to recover and she was cured immediately. Yunus Bisbi upon him said, Is this what made you expel me from the city? What caused me to expel you was that you turned people against me and their audacity to demand rights that they do not have. Despite that, I can help you with one condition. That you pray to God that it rains on us, so that the water level in the river rises and that we can water the crops, the livestock and the people and be saved from the danger of hunger and destruction. Yunus peace be upon him said, You want me to pray to God. Which God do you mean? The idol that you worship, which does not harm or benefit? Or the God, the one who sent me to you with the truth, as a bearer of good tidings, in case you believed in him, and a warner of destruction, in case you disbelieved in him? Call upon your God. If you are right, he will answer you and save us from destruction. Yunus peace be upon him said, Is this your term for me to stay in Nineveh? Yes. Yunus peace be upon him said, So let us pledge before God whom you want me to call upon to save you and your people from eminent destruction. What do we pledge for? Yunus peace be upon him said, If I pray to God and he saves you and your people, you believe that there is no God but him and that I am his servant and his prophet. Are you bargaining with me to change my religion? Yunus peace be upon him said, No, by God, you do not need to bargain with me. If you see with your own eyes that my Lord has saved you, you will be sure of yourself that he is the true God, and if you believe, all your people will believe, and all their good deeds will be recorded for you as well till the day of judgment. You are asking me for something difficult, for it is the most difficult thing for a person to change his religion and beliefs. Yunus peace be upon him said, It is not more difficult for a person than knowing the truth and then deviating from it. Perhaps God warned you of destruction in order to save you from disbelief. Yunus, son of Matha, I promise you that I will believe in your Lord as God and in you as prophet. If you pray to your Lord and he sends down rain on us and saves us from destruction. And after King Sinequip made a covenant with Prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, to believe in God Almighty, if he prayed to God and sent down rain on them, and they were saved from destruction, Eunice, peace be upon him, stood at the top of the mountain and prayed to his Lord, O God, praise be to you until you are satisfied, and praise be to you if you are satisfied, and praise be to you after you are satisfied, O compassionate, O merciful, O possessor of majesty and honor, O God, help us, O God, help us, O God, help us, O Oh God, give us rain that is beneficial and not harmful, sooner rather than later. O oh God, give water to your servants and your animals. Spread your mercy and revive your dead country. O oh merciful, O oh merciful, O oh generous. That's weird. 
It is raining. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. Your Lord has answered your prayers quicker than I imagined. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Now it is your turn, O king, to believe in God alone, who has no partner, and that I am his servant and his messenger. Allah, الذي يرسل الرياح فتثير سحابا فيبسطه في السماء كيف يشاء ويجعله كسفا فترى الودق يخرج من خلاله فإذا أصاب به من يشاء من عباده إذا هم يستبشرون وإن كانوا من قبل أن ينزل عليهم من قبله لمبلسين فانظر إلى رحمة الله كيف يحيي الأرض بعد موتها إن ذلك لمحي الموتى وهو على كل شيء قدير and the Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, continued to pray to his people. So a number of them believed. And the Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, continued to call on King Sennacherib to worship God Almighty after he imprisoned his wife because she followed the religion of Yunus, peace be upon him. But the king did not respond to his call and began killing or imprisoning those who believed in the religion of Yunus, peace be upon him. The Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, decided to leave this village whose king is unjust. Oh, Prophet of God, are you traveling? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Yes, I am. I will leave this village whose people are unjust. Did God allow you to go out? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, I bear witness to God that I did not fall short in my call, and perhaps my departure will be a salvation for others, such as Malicha, who was killed when he believed in me. I won't wait for Ruba, Princess Golda, or you to be killed, my aunt. Or shall we flee with you from Nineveh? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, You may be able to escape at a later time, but I have had enough of this unjust king, his mother, and his high priest. I will leave for another country that will welcome my call, open its heart to it, and be overwhelmed by the light of faith. But you promised the king a painful punishment. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, It has not come yet. God has wisdom in everything, but I am inevitably leaving. In the safety of God, O oh, Prophet of God, in the safety of God. Prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, went out towards the sea, as he decided to leave this village whose king is unjust, and he found on the shore a ship carrying passengers and goods, so he asked its passengers to sail with them. God Almighty said, and verily, Yunus was one of the messengers, when he ran away to the laden ship. The ship sailed into the sea, and the journey began. Yunus, peace be upon him, saw that he could continue the call to God in another country, that does not have the injustice, corruption, and disbelief that he has seen in Nineveh. He he felt inside himself that he might have hastened to leave the country before his lord permitted him, but he left in despair of the faith of the people of Nineveh in him and his religion. The king ordered his wife to be released from confinement. After the prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, left Nineveh, and suddenly a stormy wind comes destroying Nineveh, and people knew that torment would befall them after the departure of the prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, because they did not believe in his lord, and people knew the truth of the sincerity of his call. The guard told me that you ordered him to release me from prison. Yes, only for the sake of your father, as I am still not satisfied with you. And because Yunus, son of Matta, has left Nineveh. Yunus is gone? Yes, he fled from us after promising us a torment that did not come. This was evidence of his lie. By God, Yunus never lied. Rather, he fled from you as Moses fled from Pharaoh. Do you still believe in him, even after he is gone? I believed in the Lord of Eunice, and Eunice was gone, but the Lord is still present. Where is this Lord? Why didn't he help his prophet with victory and inflict upon us the torment that he threatened us with? Oh my God, what is that sound? Look at that smoke coming from the sky. Zedekrib, <laughs> help me, help me, sir. 
I can't stand this smoke. <laughs> <laughs> وما أرسلنا في قرية من نبي إلا أخذنا أهلها بالبأساء والضراء لعلهم يضرعون ثم بدلنا مكان السيئة الحسنة حتى عفوا حتى عفوا وقالوا قد مس آباءنا الضراء والسراء فأخذناهم بغتة وهم لا يشعرون ولو أن أهل القرى آمنوا واتقوا لفتحنا عليهم بركات من السماء والأرض ولكن كذبوا فأخذناهم بما كانوا يكسبون. Prophet Yunus peace be upon him did not know that God Almighty sent down punishment on the people of Nineveh. And suddenly in the open sea there was a strange storm that shook everything. So the high waves were crashing, the ship was shaking, and it was raining abundantly. Passengers, the storm is strong and the waves are high. We have to survive. What do we do? We paddle together until we get back to the shore, for staying at sea is too dangerous for us. Come on, let's paddle together. Each of us contribute to paddling. All passengers participated in the paddling in order to return to the shore so that the ship would not sink in these difficult conditions. Our master Eunice, peace be upon him, paddled with them as well. Come on, guys. Guys, let's paddle harder. Come on. Strong winds push us against the shore. And the waves are very high. I'm afraid we can't get to the beach. We have no other solution. It is a matter of life and death. Eunice said, there is neither might nor power except with God. Oh God, save us from this great anguish. Comrades, there is no point in trying to paddle. The more... The more we paddle towards the shore, the more we are swept back to the middle of the sea. We will all drown if we stay like this. We have no choice but to get rid of all goods and baggage. Here, we have to get rid of all the goods and baggage. And the ship is still shaking and the danger is present. We now have no choice but to get rid of one of the passengers in order to lighten the load. How do we get rid of him? We throw him into the sea. He will surely die. One person dies to save the rest of the passengers. And who would sacrifice himself for everyone? We have no choice but to draw lots. Each of us writes his name. Then we put the names in a container. And then we cast lots. So we choose an arrow and whoever the lot falls on, we throw him into the sea. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, There is neither might nor power except with God the highest the great. He is the righteous servant Eunice. How do we throw him into the water? This will anger God and he will drown us all. The passengers of the ship recast the lots again, and the arrow fell on the prophet Eunice, peace be upon him. The passengers knew that he was a man of goodness and dignities, and they were afraid of God's punishment, so they decided to redraw the lots. And for the third time, the prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, name appeared again. Eunice, son of Metta. That's weird. We cast them three times, and each time, the Lord is against this good servant? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, No, by God, God's command has been carried. Now I know that he, glory be to him, is punishing me for leaving Nineveh without his permission, and I am responding to God's command. Good servant, none of us would dare to throw you into the sea. Tell us what to do. Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Do nothing, it is God's will, and I will throw myself into the sea. Throw yourself into the sea? Eunice, peace be upon him, said, Yes, and let God do whatever he wants, in the name of God, the most gracious, the most merciful.
God Almighty said, and verily, Eunice was one of the messengers, when he ran to the laden ship, and he drew lots and was among the losers. Then the fish swallowed him while he was blameworthy. And the people of Nineveh remained praying to God Almighty to save them from the painful torment. God Almighty said, Was there any town that believed, and it saved it except the people of Eunice, when they believed? We removed from them the torment of disgrace and the life of the world, and permitted them to enjoy for a while. God Almighty answered the prayers of the people of Nineveh, and King Sennacherib believed in the Lord of Eunice, peace be upon him. O oh God! I testify to you that I believed in you, one God who has no partner, and I believed in Eunice, your servant and prophet. O oh God, help us, O oh God, help us. O oh God, we have prayed to you as you commanded us, so answer us as you promised us. O oh God, make us the first nation to see the torment and believe before it befalls it. O oh God, help us. O oh God, help us. Help us, O oh God. Help us, O oh God. O oh God, help us. Help us, O oh Lord. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. The smoke has begun to clear. Yes, Golda. Yes, God seems to have answered our prayers. Praise be to God. Praise be to God, Lord of the worlds. 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 Thank God! Thank God! We survived! The gloom is gone! The gloom is gone! Praise be to God, God has answered the prayers of the people of Nineveh, and they were the first nation to see the torment, and then it did not fall upon them because of their faith. did I swallow a prophet? So the whale heard a voice, as if it was a revelation from heaven saying, yes, he's a prophet. A whole day in Eunice in the belly of the whale, and the whale swimming in the depths of the sea. And Eunice peace be upon him, thinking about his fate, and saying to himself, O oh Lord, you have decreed that I throw myself out of the ship. So I thought that you had decreed my death. Then you sent me this whale to swallow me. So I felt that you had decreed my survival. So how can I survive while I am in three darknesses? If this is your punishment for me, then I am satisfied with it. I am ashamed to ask you to reveal my affliction, but I ask you to forgive me. Yes, I hastened to get out of Nineveh without your permission, but I despaired of their faith in you, and I thought I was able to convey your message to other people. O oh God, forgive and have mercy, and you are the best of the merciful. The whale kept diving in the depths of the sea and moving between sea creatures of all kinds. So Eunice heard the sound praising God Almighty. Water, sand, large and small fish, sharks, whales, and coral reefs, all praising God and sanctifying him. So Eunice found himself praising with them as they say, There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Indeed, I was of the wrongdoers. There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Indeed, I was of the wrongdoers. There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Indeed, I was of the wrongdoers. The prophet Eunice, peace be upon him, remained in the belly of the whale in three darknesses, the darkness of the night, the darkness of the sea, and the darkness of the belly of the whale. And God Almighty inspired the whale to preserve the life of his noble prophet Eunice, peace be upon him. As the whale did not eat meat or break bones, so the noble prophet did not die in the belly of the whale. Three days while you are in my stomach, O oh prophet of God. Three days I do not eat or drink. I endure hunger and thirst, even if it led to my death. The important thing is that you live. It seems that it's the mission for which I was created, and I will die for it. 
And just as God inspired the whale to keep Eunice intact in its stomach, it was revealed to the whale on the third day to spit him out of its stomach, out to the land. God Almighty said, had he not been of them who glorify Allah, he would have, indeed, remained inside its belly till the day of resurrection. <laughs> قادر عليه فنادى في الظلمات ألا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إني كنت من الظالمين فاستجبنا له ونجيناه من الغم وكذلك ننجي المؤمنين Eunice settled there on the sandy island in which the seed of the unknown tree lives, which God revealed to it that it will be a blessed tree that will be immortalized in human history. Now my mission is over and your mission has begun, O oh tree. In your shadow now is one of the God's prophets. God destined for him to be saved from drowning and perhaps he destines recovery or return to his people to be happy with their faith in him and to continue his message that God sent him with. God Almighty said, had he not been of them who glorify Allah, he would have indeed remained inside its belly till the day of resurrection. But we threw him onto the open shore while he was ill, and we caused to grow over him a gourd vine, and we sent him to a hundred thousand or more, and they believed, so we gave them enjoyment for a while. <laughs> فساهم فكان من المدحضين فالتقمه الحوت وهو مليم فلولا أنه كان من المسبحين للبث في بطنه إلى يوم يبعثون فنبذناه بالعراء وهو سقيم وَأَنْبَتْنَا عَلَيْهِ شَجَرَةً مِّنْ يَقْطِينَ وَأَرْسَلْنَاهُ إِلَى مِئَةِ أَلْفٍ أَوْ يَزِيدُونَ فَآمَنُوا فَمَتَّعْنَاهُمْ إِلَى حِينَ on the island under the pumpkin tree, our master Eunice, peace be upon him, recovered gradually, benefiting from the tree and its food and medicine. He knew that God had sprung it especially for his sake, just as he made the whale before swallow him to save him from drowning. And he understood that he succeeded in the affliction, when he glorified God in the belly of the whale to save him from grief, and to save everyone who said this prayer, There is no God but you, glory be to you, I was one of the wrongdoers. And after the people of Nineveh learned from the passengers of the ship that the prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, had thrown himself into the sea and died, the prophet of God Yunus, peace be upon him, returned to Nineveh, and all the people of Nineveh went out to welcome the blessed prophet of God and celebrate his return to his city. And the prophet Yunus, peace be upon him, rejoiced after he learned that the people of Nineveh believed in his message that God Almighty assigned him. Why don't you eat, my dear cow? Are you also sad about the absence of the Prophet of God, Eunice? Peace be upon him. Just as all of the people of Nineveh were sad. Do you not believe me when I tell you that he is still alive and that God has given me this beautiful good news in my dreams? Oh God, is he really the Prophet of God or do my eyes deceive me? Yes, it is. The Prophet of God returned safely. Eunice, son of Mata, did not die. Here, he is alive among us. O oh, people of Nineveh, O oh, people of Nineveh, O oh, people of Nineveh, congratulations on the return of your Prophet Eunice, son of Mata. Eunice, son of Mata, is alive. There is no God but you. Glory be to you. I was of the wrongdoers. There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Indeed, I was of the wrongdoers. There is no God but you. Glory be to you. Indeed, I was of the wrongdoers. 
فاصبر لحكم ربك ولا تكن كصاحب الحوت إذ نادى وهو مكظوم لولا أن تداركه نعمة من ربه لنبذ بالعراء وهو مذموم فاجتباه ربه فجعله من الصالحين